you know, I, I believe in unions. I want to get this straight out and say it first and foremost. I believe in unions. I believe in unions protecting the rights of workers. I believe in minimum wage. I believe in minimum working conditions. I believe in hourly pay. I believe in health and welfare and pension. But I also know that sometimes little tiny independent films are just that. And I have happily signed on to a number of very micro-budgeted projects with an understanding that we were going to shoot three or four weeks. And I've taken a mindset on those productions that we shouldn't be approaching professional people that have careers and are established and have families, that we should be approaching people that are looking for opportunities. They're not trying to make a mortgage payment on the show. They're not trying to... From the time I meet them till the time they leave, we're talking about four or six weeks. So when I'm working in that environment, I don't feel any need to approach a union and insult them with an hourly rate that's over minimum wage, but well under their contract. So I, I, I make a lot of shows that are non-union, and that's the, that's the name of that tune. So now, I'm on Beastmaster, and sure enough, I get the phone call from the Teamsters that it was inevitable. Now, they don't know anything about our production except we're not Teamster. They've got some kind of information, so I don't know how much information they have. But I do know this. We need a lot of catering. Caterers are Teamsters. We need a lot, a lot of vehicles. I mean, more than your average show. Animal handlers are Teamster. The name of the show is Beastmaster. We've got... Ralph Helfer's General Jungle. We've got Boone Reynolds and, 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 and we have Sled Reynolds and Boone Narr. I mean, we've got all the top animal people. No money being spared on animals. And, and I know there's no way we could actually make the show on budget under a Teamster contract, even though it's an $8 million picture. The Teamster cost would escalate us hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, they had requirement. We, we had a, a business plan where the best boy grip drove the grip truck. They would require that a, a dedicated driver drive the grip truck, even though we're planted in front of a pyramid for four weeks and the truck doesn't move an inch. They would require that a driver show up, not do anything for the whole day, and if we went into overtime, be paid all the overtime to continue to not do anything and to be fed and to be paid meal penalties and forced calls. It, it just, just didn't seem right to me. So I made him an offer, and, I, and I, I said to the business agent, he called me up, and I said, good news, you've met a person who believes in unions but doesn't believe in wasting money. I said, so I will hire a Teamster coordinator, a Teamster captain, three drivers, and two animal handlers. You just picked up seven full-paid jobs with no strike and no argument. You have 24 hours to say yes or no. If you say yes, we write it up and we're in business. Because he said, we're going to lock you out. I said, lock me out? I'm in Simi Valley on a 10,000-acre ranch that has 14 entrances. So you put up your picket line. Pick a gate to... You don't even know where all the gates are. So if I want to move people in and out, I can move them in and out. And there's no way you can ever get in and interfere with what I'm doing. And I'm not shutting you out. I'm negotiating with you. So take my offer. And I'll tell you, if you don't take my offer, then I'm going to do what Sandy Howard taught me how to do on Vice Squad. I'm going to call the union that competes with you, called NABET, who will take this deal. So you want this to be a Teamster picture, you take my deal, you have 24 hours. You don't want this to be a Teamster deal, it's a NABET show with a NABET seal. They took the deal.